Good morning, everyone. Welcome to True Stream. My name is Charlene. I'll be guiding us through a 60 minute yoga flow. We're gonna just focus on grounding and some hip openings. If you have a block, grab your block or a pillow or um, any kind of prop to help you um, place your hands on to give you a little bit more length. Um, just wanna say I miss everybody here at the studio. Um, I'm glad we have our live stream for you guys to follow along. And we're just gonna get sta started standing at the top of our mat. We're gonna, we're gonna just go through a little flow in the beginning, start with some sun salutations, and then work into some hip openers. So let's start on the top of our mat. You wanna make sure your toes and heels are touching. Try to lift your toes up off the mat, spread them, and then try to place them down one by one, gripping the mat with each toe. Let's close our eyes, bring your hands to heart center, Roll those shoulders down and back. Tuck through the tailbone. Stand up nice and tall. Close those eyes. Breathe in and out through your nose. It is the morning, so good morning. Let's wake up our body. And remember the next 60 minutes is for you. Let's block out anything and everything that tries to bring us down, any negativity. Let's just focus on the positivity this morning. Try to focus on a color, maybe a word, to help you get through this 60 minute flow. With every inhale, fill that belly with air. Every exhale, pull that belly to your spine. Breathe in all the positive thoughts. Exhale any negative energy. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your nose. On your next inhale, open those eyes and reach those hands up and overhead. Separate the arms, cactus, back bend. Inhale your hands up and overhead. And then exhale, we're gonna swan dive forward, pull that belly to your spine, protect your psoas muscle. Just let your fingertips graze the mat. Inhale, come all the way back up. And then we're gonna exhale, come down. Let those fingertips graze the mat. Inhale, come up. And one more time, exhale, come down. Coming into Uttanasana, forward fold. It's probably our first forward fold. It is the morning, so our legs are probably a little tight. Try to bend your knees as much as you need to to get this belly on your thighs to get your hands to the floor. If you have a prop, your block, or a blanket, you could bring the floor up to you, placing your hands on the mat. We have different sizes, or different levels. Can, any side you want to put it on. And just let your head hang heavy. Relax your head. Shake a no, not a yes. And then let's walk our hands over to the left side. Try to keep your hips aligned. Just try to feel the stretch along this right side of your, uh, outer side of your hip. And then walk back to center, pause, and then slowly walk over to the right. Walk back to center, 
Going into Soya Namaskar, Sun Salute. Let's step back with that right foot. Go ahead and swing that left foot back. We're coming into a plank pose. It is our first plank, so everybody drop down to the knees. Let the shins go flat, let the feet go flat. Spread your fingers wide. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. Push the mat away. Try to puff up through your chest. Try to make your, sh puff up through your chest, push it away. Sorry, I got lost from my words. And here we're just gonna shift that body weight slightly over the wrist. Hug your elbows into that rib cage and slowly start coming down all the way to your belly. Keep your hands by your chest area. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna come halfway up, coming into baby cobra. And then exhale, come down. Inhale, come halfway up. And then exhale, come down. One more time, inhale, come up. And then exhale, come down. Everybody push up to your knees, come into a tabletop. Tuck your toes, lift those knees, and lift those hips all the way up and back, coming into downward facing dog. Ordva Mukha Svanasana. I'm sorry, Aro Mukha Svanasana. You wanna make sure to roll those shoulders down and out of your ears. Lift those hips up. Maybe pedal out the legs. It is our first down dog. You wanna to try to loosen up those hamstrings. I personally like to lift one leg in the air and then the other. Maybe you drop your heels to the right, push the mat away. Look, come high onto those toes, drop your heels to the left, push the mat away. Come back to center, find some stillness. And on your next inhale, lift that right leg all the way up to the sky. And you're gonna bring that right knee all the way into your chest, roll it forward, place that right foot in between your hands, shift the body weight up, bring that left foot to meet the right. We're gonna inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Continue, lift those hands up and overhead. Let those pinkies touch. Cactus the arms and back bend. Exhale. Inhale. And we're gonna swan dive forward. Remember to pull the stomach into the spine, protecting our psoas muscle. In an inhale, half lift. You put your hands to your shins. Keep your eye gaze about six inches in front of those big toes. Exhale, come down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, come down. So your namaskar on the left side, lift that left foot up in the air, place it behind you. Swing that right foot back to meet the right, left. Drop down to your knees. We're still warming up a little here. Shift that body weight forward. Hug the elbows into the rib cage. Come all the way down to your bellies. Keep those elbows in by the ribs, keep your hands by your chest. Inhale, come up, baby cobra. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Exhale. One more time, inhale, come up. And then exhale, come down. Go ahead and come up to your knees, come into a tabletop, tuck your toes, lift your hips, push it back, down dog. The same foot, anytime we step back with, that's the same foot we're gonna step up with. So inhale, left foot up to the sky. Bring that left knee into your chest, roll it forward, place it in between your hands. Shift that body weight forward. Bring the left foot up to meet the right. <laughs> Sorry, got confused, left and right. Bring the right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, come up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, hands up and overhead, let those pinkies touch. Back bend, let it go. Inhale up. 
And then exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale down. One more time, inhale. And then exhale. Step back with that right foot. Swing that left foot back to meet it. Come into a plank pose. Let's see if we could all stay high on to, um, in a high plank. If you can't, that's okay. Drop down to your knees, let the shins go flat. Stay here in a plank, make sure to push the mat away. Make sure your hips and shoulders are in alignment. You don't wanna be down here or way up here. Just try to balance, level off. Pull, um, squeeze your thighs together, like intertwine them together. Pull your belly up. We're gonna shift that body weight forward. Let that, those shoulders go slightly over the wrist. And then exhale, come halfway down. And then inhale, come up. And then we're gonna exhale, come down and through Ordhava Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. So you can see that I'm pushing through the tops of my feet, letting my thighs come off the mat. Make sure you're not sinking into your uh, shoulders like this. You wanna push your shoulders, you push your, oh, sorry, I got lost for words. Make sure you're pushing the mat away, your shoulders are out of your ears. Bring your chin to your chest. And then let's bring it all the way to our left shoulder. Find those toes behind you. And then let your chin slowly come all the way across to the right. Bring your chin back to center. You're gonna tuck your toes, lift your hips, push away. To Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Make sure your shoulders are not in your ears, pull them down. Micro bend to the elbows, micro bend to the knees. Never hyper extend, that will cause an injury. Inhale, we're gonna lift that right foot all the way up to the sky, bring that right knee into your chest. We're gonna bring that left foot up to meet the right. Get my left and right confused sometimes, sorry guys. Inhale, come all the way up, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, hands up and overhead. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, swan dive forward. This is warming up with our sun salutations. Inhale, half lift, exhale down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale down. Let's step back with that right foot, then our left. Stay high in that plank pose or drop down to your knees, whatever your flavor is. Shift that body weight forward. Hug the elbows into the rib cage. Inhale up. Exhale, come down and through, all the way up to upward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, push it back. Downward facing dog. And if you can't do the full chaturanga and you wanna come down to your belly like we did in the beginning and do the baby cobras, that's totally fine too. And then inhale, lift that right foot up. Exhale, bring that right foot through. Shift the body weight forward, bring that left foot up to meet the right. Slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, hands up and overhead. Exhale, cactus the arms, back bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down. Step back with that left foot. Swing that right foot back to me. Going into that chaturanga flow. And you guys, you don't have to do two push-ups or chaturangas. You could do just one and pull your heart up and through. And we all, we're all gonna meet in down dog. So whatever, e the easiest way for you to get there, you take that modification. 
Inhale, we're gonna lift that left foot up to the sky. Bring that left knee into your chest, roll it forward, place it in between your hands, shift that body weight forward. Bring that right foot up to meet the left. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, hands up and overhead. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, and then exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, down. We're gonna step back with that right foot. That left foot to follow. Stay into that high plank or drop down to your knees. Do your chaturanga flow. Come up and through Ordhava Mukha Svanasana. And we all meet in Aro Mukha Svanasana. Adding a little bit to our sun salutations. So we're gonna add a side twisted lunge. Inhale, lift that right foot all the way to the ceiling. Exhale, bring that right knee into your chest. Place it in between your hands. And if you guys want to, you could drop down to that back knee. Untuck the toes, whatever is easiest for you. You go where your body wants to be or needs to be. Make sure you have your right knee over your right ankle. You wanna make sure to be pulling this right hip back, left hip forward, and try to lift up through this hamstring on the left side. Place your left hand inside of your right foot firmly, spread those fingers wide. Bring your right hand to your hip and just slowly start to twist over to the right. You can reach that right hand up to the ceiling if your shoulders are stacking. Spread your fingers wide. Make sure you're not dipping into your right hip. Try to pull it back. Try to pull your left rib cage underneath your body to get a little bit deeper into the twist. You could even grab, I don't know if you saw, I grabbed my left ribs and I pulled myself and I got a little bit deeper in that twist. Slowly bring that right hand down. We're gonna shift that body weight forward, bring that left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, hands up and overhead. Back bend, let it go. Inhale, up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down. Step back with that left foot, then the right. Going into that chaturanga flow. Drop down to your knees if you like. Come all the way down to your belly if you want. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale down, tuck the toes, come to your tabletop, lift those hips, push it back, down dog. Inhale, we're gonna start on that left side, lift that left foot up, bring it through. Same goes here, make sure your left knee is over that left ankle. Pull that left hip back, right hip forward. Place your right hand firmly inside that left foot. Bring your hand to your hip. Make sure you're lifting up through this back hamstring. You don't wanna be like this. Try to stay high on the ball of that right foot and start twisting over to the left. Like I said, you could grab your rib cage probably see my hand over here and try to pull yourself over. Make sure you keep that knee over your ankle and then lift your hand up to the ceiling. And as you can probably see, shoulders are stacking. That's when you wanna lift your hand. Remember to breathe, bring that left hand down, frame that left foot. Shift the body weight forward. Bring this right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, hands up and overhead. And then exhale, back bend. Inhale up. 
Exhale, come all the way down. Keep that belly to your spine. Whenever we're coming down like that, try to keep that stomach, that tummy muscle engaged. We wanna try to keep it really engaged so we don't mess up any of our psoas muscles or pull anything like that. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down. From here, we're gonna either, if you'd like, you could step back like we've been, or you could hop or jump, whatever you like. Step back. Everybody's coming to the back of their mat. Stay in that high plank, shift the body weight forward. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale up. Exhale, come down and through, all the way up. Ordhva Mukha. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Adho Mukha. Up dog to down dog. We're gonna move into a little bit of a warrior series. So lift that right foot up. We wanna keep it hip height. You could tell the difference when I have it like this. You can see my legs way over here, my hips are not in line. If you drop that hip down and you could see your toes behind you, try to push away in back of you with that right heel. We're gonna inhale and then exhale. Bring that right knee, right elbow. Pause, inhale. Then we're gonna exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, kick it back. And then exhale, you wanna bring your knee into your nose. Pause just for a moment. And then push it back. Inhale, bring that knee into your chest. Drop that right foot under, um, in between your hands. Make sure your right knee is over your right ankle and that back foot, we're gonna turn it and we're gonna drop it 90 degrees. So it should be parallel with the back of your mat. You wanna make sure your heels are in alignment here. And we're gonna bring that right hand inside of that right foot, lift that left hand all the way to the ceiling. And then we're slowly gonna start reaching that left hand all the way towards the back, coming up into Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. You wanna make sure your right knee is still over that right ankle. You don't want your foot or your knee to be too much this way or that way. You wanna make sure it's nice and even. Try to sink it down in your hips. Keep that back, try to push out through the back side of that left foot and try to sink your hips down. Make sure you're tucking through your tailbone. We don't want our booties all the way out over here. In a Virabhadrasana warrior, you wanna make sure you have a nice straight spine. Reach those hands out, roll those shoulders down, spread your fingers wide. Wanna look, have your eye gaze over that right fingertips. We're gonna go into our Trikonasana. So drop that right hand inside of that right thigh. Lift that left hand all the way up to the ceiling. You could see all I did was move my arms. I did not move my body. I'm trying to focus on a nice long spine. We're having our blood flow from the left to the right, which is our Ida to the Bengala, feminine to the masculine. Try to keep those hips down. Inhale back to center. And then exhale, drop that left hand, lift the right. And the same here, all I did was move my arms. Try to keep sinking down in those hips. Inhale, come back to center. And then exhale, windmill those hands down, frame that foot. Swing that right foot back to meet the right, uh, left. And guess what we're gonna do? Go into that chaturanga flow. And you know what, guys? If it's too much, that's okay. Just push back and go into down dog. 
We're gonna work on our left side. So inhale, lift that left foot, bring it hip height. Remember, we don't want it too high in the air. We want it right where we can see our toes and where our hips are leveled. Inhale, and then exhale, bring that left knee, left elbow. Inhale, push it back. And then we're gonna exhale, bring that right, that left knee, right elbow. If you haven't, if you can't tell, I get my left and my rights confused a lot. Inhale, push it back. But if you're following along, I hope you understand and you get it. <laughs> Inhale, bring that left knee into the chest. Bring it towards your nose, roll it forward, hold it. Push it back. Inhale, bring your left knee into your chest. Place it between your hands. Make sure your left knee is over your left ankle. That's a, make sure you have a sturdy foundation. Drop that right foot 90 degrees. Parallel with the back of your mat. And as you can see, heels are in alignment. Make sure to keep them nice and in line. Bring that left hand in front of that left foot. And then inhale, lift that right hand all the way up to the ceiling. And then we're slowly going to reach that left hand towards the back of the room, hinging, coming all the way up into your warrior two. If you're a Pedrasana, remember, this is not, we don't want to be like this. You don't want to lock out your knee. You want to bend your knee as much as you can. Make sure your knee is over your ankle. Roll those shoulders back, and you want to tuck through the tailbone, and just try to sink down a little bit more into those hips. Want to look over those left fingertips. I'm going to drop that left hand inside of that left thigh. Lift that right hand all the way up to the ceiling. Remember, your breath will get you through class, through all these poses. Inhale back to center. And we're going to go into Verbita, or Verbita Virabhadrasana, Reverse Warrior. Make sure you're sinking down in those hips. Hold it. Inhale back to center. Exhale, windmill those hands down from the foot. Kick that left foot back to meet the right. Coming into that chaturanga flow. Coming up through up dog. And instead of pushing back to downward facing dog, drop to your knees, let your big toes touch. Push it back, separate your knees, max the distance. Let your belly hang in between your thighs, going into a peaceful warrior. Bring your forehead to the mat. And focus on your breath. Remember breathing in and out through your nose. Try to relax your face muscles. Relax your jaw. Drop your tongue to the bottom of your mouth. Try to use that Ujjayi breath if you can. It's that dark Vader noise kind of sounds like where you pull the breath from your nose all the way down through your throat like and then you push it out through your nose with like an ocean sound. Breathing in and out through your nose really helps steady your heart, calm your brain, calm your body. Whenever we try to breathe out through our mouth, it sends our body this little message that we need endorphins and we need some more energy. Right now, we're just trying to calm our breath down, get our heart rate back to normal. Look up in between your hands and slowly start walking them one over to the right side. Place your head right back down in between those biceps. 
is getting that body stretch on the left side. Take that eye gaze in between your hands and slowly start walking back to center. Then all the way over to the left. Place your hand, your head in between your biceps. And try to keep, I should have said this on the other side, try to keep your hips pushed back. Even though um, we're to the side, we tend to pop up this way, but try to even out your hips. Try to keep them close to your ankles as you can. Next, inhale, look in between your hands. Slowly walk it back to center. Drop your head in between your thighs, in between your um, biceps. You can not drop them between your thighs. And then slowly look in between your hands. And then just come up into a tabletop. Bring your knees underneath your hips. You want about a two fist uh, hips distance in between your hip or between your knees. You can measure that with two fists, placing them in between your your knees. That should be about hips distance is two fists. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. And we're just gonna massage out our spine with a little bit of cat cows. So cat cows, you're gonna inhale, you're gonna drop your belly, let your eye gaze go all the way up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna pull our chin into our chest, pull our belly to our spine, round and curl, coming into a cat. Gonna inhale, pull that chest through, lift that eye gaze, let the belly hang, exhale, round and curl. Inhale. Let that belly hang heavy. Let that eye gaze go all the way to the top. And then exhale. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale. Come back to a neutral tabletop. Tuck your toes, lift those knees, let them hover just slightly over the mat, and then push your hips up and back. Wanna make sure those shoulders are out of your ears. Try to pull your belly underneath your rib cage. Get a little bit deeper into that down dog. There we go. And then inhale, bring that right foot all the way up to the sky. And then exhale, bring that knee into your chest, roll it forward, place it in between your hands. I lie. We're gonna walk this right foot all the way out to the side of the mat. So we're gonna come into our lizard pose. Both hands should be inside your feet. You could stay high onto your back foot the way I am, or you could drop it down, untuck your toes. Let that shin go flat. Make sure that foot is like on the edge of your mat. I'm really trying to get into the hips here. And you wanna slowly, you can um, stay high onto your hands just like this. You can bring that right hand inside of that right thigh and slowly, gently push out on that right thigh. Open it up and then come onto the um, edge of your right foot. You could also come down to your forearms if you like. Get a little bit deeper. And if you're feeling real good, you can tuck those right toes and lift up off of that, the right toes. See you guys, got my right and my left mixed up. The left side, you could tuck the left toes and lift up off of that left knee. Wherever you're out today, go there and stay there. Should feel really good on that hip joint. 
really opening up. We store a lot of emotions and stress inside of our hips. So let's, let's open them up and get rid of that. Get rid of it for the day. I'm going to slowly bring our hands underneath. Our, if you're on your forearms, bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. If you're pushing out on that thigh, bring that hand right underneath your shoulder. Slowly start to bring this leg back to center. We're going to heel toe it all the way to the left side. Coming into a pigeon pose. So from here, you want to drop that left that right knee there i go again down to the mat and you want to make sure your hips are even here you want to be able to stand up tall and if you can't if you have that blanket or a block or anything to help give you a little bit more length you could always place it right underneath that right hip and you're still in that pigeon pose still getting the same benefits you want to make sure that left foot and is in line with that left hip and you want to sit up tall. I'm going to inhale, take that eye gaze all the way up to the ceiling. And then exhale, we're going to slowly come down. First to our forearms. We want to make sure our hips are still in alignment. You don't want to be dipping too much to the left or too much to the right. And if you feel OK here, you could stay here. Or you could walk your hands all the way out. Bringing your forehead to the mat. Remember breathing in and out through your nose. Pigeon pose is, um, can bring up a lot of emotions. It's kind of uncomfortable. What we're doing here, we're, we're cutting off circulation to our leg to allow the new blood flow to come in. So wherever you're feeling that, that little, um, tension make sure it's not a sharp pain or it's uncomfortable you want to be comfortable in this position breathe any kind of air any kind of life into that spot that might be a little tight or if it's too tight come out of the pose don't don't hurt yourself Just focus on your breath Block anything and everything that might be coming into your mind. Remember that word, that color. Maybe you have a mantra in mind. Focus on that right here, right now. Just always remember in and out through your nose. And then if you're all the way down onto your forehead, you have your hands reached out in front of you, slowly start walking those hands back towards your face. Just gently push yourself up. And we're going to go for a little quad stretch here. So bring that right hand in front of that, your body, center of your body, and then lift that left foot, bend that left knee, and reach around and grab for that left ankle, foot, or shin. If you have a mermaid in you, if you guys know what that is, you could do it. Or all I'm focusing on is stretching that quad right now. Slowly, gently, let that left foot go. Don't let it slingshot. If you have that block underneath your hip, put, place it to the side. Bring both hands underneath your shoulder. We're going to tuck our toes, we're gonna, our left toe lift up off that left knee. We're going to bring this right knee into our chest. Don't let it touch the mat. Come high and then slowly start pushing it all the way back. Lift it up to the air, drop it down. Downward facing dog. And then work on the left side. Inhale that left foot all the way up. Bring that left knee into your chest, roll it forward. This time, place that left foot on the outside of that left hand. Yeah. Slowly, if you want to, you can drop down to that back knee. Untuck the toes. And we're going to come onto that knife edge of our left foot. 
really opening up our hip here in our lizard pose. You could bring that left hand to that left thigh and push out on side of that left. Or you could go down to your forearms. Whatever you did on the right side, try to match it on the left side. Try to keep your body balanced and even. And if you tuck those toes and lift the knee, this is a level three. If you're at a level three, you could go ahead and do that. Even if you're at a level three and you're like, not this morning, I just wanna take it easy, you stay here. Remember breathing in and out through your nose. Focus on your breath, really opening up those hips. I don't know about you guys, but this feels really good this morning. Some hip openers. You're probably like, oh my God, you're crazy. Hip openers don't feel good. <laughs> But it is good for us. We need this, especially what's going on. We really need to release all this stress and all this negative, all this stuff that we have bottled up. We keep them in our hips. We don't realize it, but we keep all that in our hips. So it's good to open them up and release all of that. And especially some of us that are at home um, now with everything going on, this should feel really good. Wherever you're at, come back to center. Make sure both hands are underneath our shoulders. Drop that left foot down to the mat and then slowly start heel toeing that left foot all the way to the right. Once you get there, drop that knee down to the mat and let that, left, that, <laughs> that right foot go all the way towards the back. You wanna make sure your hip and ankle are in alignment if you use that block, place it underneath that hip. Make sure you're firmly pressing into the mat. We're gonna inhale, take the eye gaze up. And then exhale, come down. I always say stop first here on your forearms. Make sure you're not dipping too much to the left or too much to the right. Try to even those hips out. Keep them centered. Keep those hips centered to the mat. And if you like, you could come all the way back down, bringing your forehead to the mat. Should have said this on the other side. The right side is our masculine side. So you might have wanted to send any love and light to the male males in your life. And this is our feminine side. Um, you could send any female some love and light that might need it at this time, or even send it to yourself. Just remember, um, wherever there's, you don't wanna have a pinching sensation or an uncomfortable sensation, but you wanna make sure you're, uh, you're, you're comfortable in this position. You don't want your hip or your knee to feel any kind of pain, and if it does, Slowly come out of the pose and just stay high up. Just breathe in and out through your nose. This is the time to focus on that word, that color, that mantra. And here, try to relax your face. Try to relax your jaw. Let that tongue relax to the bottom of your mouth that we don't even realize that we, we don't even realize that we have our tongue pushed up against the roof of our mouth until somebody actually tells us that. And then once you do it, you're like, oh wow, I could breathe a little bit better. I could relax a little bit. Take two more breaths here. One more time. And then if you have those hands out in front of you, slowly start walking it back towards your face. Come high up on your fingertips. Bring that left hand in front of your body in the center. 
We're gonna get a quad stretch on the right side. Lift the left foot up to the sky, bend that right knee, and pull with that right hand. Pull that quad. Or you pull that quad. You can't pull your quad. Pull your foot to stretch your quad. So really feel really nice. And then slowly drop that right foot. Don't let it slingshot. Bring both hands underneath your chest. Tuck the toes. You want to bring that left knee into your chest and push it all the way back. Drop that left foot. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> you want to stay in this down dog. Pedal out your legs. Bring that new blood flow back into your legs. Maybe you shimmy to the left or shimmy to the right. Shake your head no, not a yes. We're gonna inhale, bring that right foot, oh wait, sorry, I lie. Bring that right foot down. We're gonna inhale, shift that body away forward, coming into a plank pose. And we're gonna slowly drop down to our knees, coming into a tabletop. And then we're gonna just gently Stay high onto those back toes, or of course they're your toes. Stay high onto those toes. And we're gonna slowly push our hips back and get a good, nice foot stretch in our feet here. You could stay just like this, pushing back, um, filling your, the back of your feet open. And make sure all toes, every toe, including that pinky, is tucked underneath so you could get that good stretch. And if you're real flexible or if you have it in you, you could come high up and just place your booty on your heels. So you can feel that hip stretch. Place your hands on your, on your thighs. Close your eyes and just focus on your breath. May you feel a little bit tight. We don't normally sit like this, so you should really feel this in that arch of your foot. Try to pull your belly to your spine. Try to roll those shoulders down. Sit up tall. Try to tuck through your tailbone just a little. You don't want your booty out here. You want it tucked under. And then we're gonna inhale, open those eyes, bring those hands up and overhead. And then exhale, bring them down through heart center. Inhale, lift your hands up and overhead. Exhale, down to center. Inhale, hands up and overhead. And then exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, inhale, hands up and overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center. Take a breath here, and exhale. Slowly start walking your hands down. Come into a table tuck, a table tuck, <laughs> table tuck. Untuck your toes and tap your toes on top of your mat. Feel that blood flow coming into your body. I'm gonna turn around and face the back of the wall so you can see what I'm doing with my hands. We're gonna let our feet go flat. We're gonna stretch the front part of our, our ankle here now, the front. So let them go flat. Sit down, bring your booty to your heels. And then we're gonna inhale, bring our hands up and overhead. And then we're gonna drop this left hand. And we're gonna reach up and we're gonna bend that right elbow and try to reach for opposite hands. If you have a towel, I should have told you guys to get this in the beginning, or something around that you can't reach your hands, you could put that in your hand and hold it. You want to make sure to push your back of your head on the, out, on the back side of that forearm to really open up the, that shoulder. Take two breaths here. Release your hands. Inhale, hands up and overhead. And then drop that right hand down. 
and reach down with the left. As you could see, one side might be tighter than the other. The other side, I was really able to grab my hands. This side, I, it's kind of hard, and that's okay. That's totally fine. Just work on getting better on it. Make sure you're pushing your head into that forearm, really opening up those shoulders. Slowly release your hands. And the same thing here. Come into your tabletop and then just gently tap out your toes, tap out your legs. We're going to go into a fire log or 90-90, so I'll face you guys to show you. But to get there, let's first, we're going to just bring our right foot in between our hands and then slowly start walking it over, drop it down, come onto that right hip, and then swing this left foot all the way around and face you guys. Ooh, oops. So right foot in front. You want to try to get it as parallel as you can with the mat. And then you want to bring this left foot on top of that right thigh. But you want that left foot to dangle. As you can tell, it's kind of um, hard for me because I'm not so open on the left side. And that's okay. Instead of having my, my knee this high up in the air, you could always bring this foot into this little nook of your, of your right foot. And you could see my knee comes down, and you're still skinning the same benefits. Wherever you're at, and you want to close your eyes, roll those shoulders down and back, prop up through your ch chest, place those hands onto those knees, and just focus on your breath here. Breathing in and out through your nose. Ninety ninety is kind of good for our, or kind of hard for our hips if you have your foot way out here, but it's such a great hip opener. If you do have your foot out onto your thigh, you could always interlace your fingers and give yourself a little gentle push on the inside of that left thigh to get your, your knee closer to your heel. And then inhale, and then exhale. And inhale, those hands up and overhead. And then exhale, drop those hands in front of you, and then maybe kind of start walking it out, giving yourself a little bit more pressure on those legs so that you can get deeper into the stretch. This should feel really good on that left hip, on that IT band. Slowly start walking your hands back. We're going to go to the left side. You could always just uncross your feet and switch them this way. Or I like to do this fun little thing. You drop that left foot outside of that right knee. You place your hands on the outside of your left or <laughs> See, my left and my right. Uh, on the outside of your right body. Push yourself up. And then all we're going to do is spin, 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 spin. Keep turning. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't, don't stop. Then come down. Your left foot should be in front. Your right should be on top. And you're in that position. So you want to make sure that right, knee, or right ankle is hanging over that left thigh. Make sure your left leg is parallel with your, with your mat. And as you can tell on my right side, like I said, your different sides are tighter or looser than the other. The right side, I'm a little bit more open, so I could actually have my foot dangle off of my left thigh. Wherever you're at, you want to sit up tall, roll those shoulders down and out of your ears, close your eyes, place your hands on top of your knees, and just breathe. And 
Remember, <clears throat> wherever you're feeling any tension, try to send a breath of air towards that spot. You can always interlace your fingers and place that, ha those hands on that right thigh. Give yourself a little push down. And then inhale, open those eyes, bring those hands up and overhead. And then exhale, bring those hands down in front of you. Walk them out. Maybe try to hook your your um, arms onto your legs, give yourself a little push, you should really feel that IT band opening up on that right side. Try not to round and curl your back, try to push through your chest, try to keep a nice flat spine. Sorry, I had to cough. Remember to focus on your breath. Send that breath of air to any of that tension spot. And then slowly start walking your hands back. When it eh, uncross our legs, let them go out straight in front of you. Maybe windshield wiper them left to right. And then we're slowly gonna come on to our right side, coming into a fetal position. Oops. Got my right and left confused. Pull, pull that right hand all the way out. Use your right bicep as a pillow and bring those knees into your chest. This is our first yoga pose ever inside the womb. It's the rebirth pose. This is a great time to tell yourself something amazing, something beautiful. Tell yourself you are doing a great job. Thank you for coming to live stream yoga this morning. Your body will love you for it. Just breathe in and out through your nose. Slowly start turning onto your back. Coming into Shavasana, you want to make sure you roll those shoulders um, underneath your, your chest, prop up through your chest. You want your chin tucked slightly into your chest. Then bring both knees up, reach around. You don't have to hug tight. We're just trying to get a flat spine here. Rock left to right, right to left, left to right. Pull those knees in. Now hug your knees into your chest. Bring your chin into your chest, then forehead to your knees. Giving yourself one little tight hug. And then slowly drop those shoulders down, then your neck. And then slowly lift those feet all the way up to the ceiling. Place those hands down next to you and then slowly let the heels fall. Very slow, just let them drop down to the mat. Coming into that last and final Shavasana. Everybody take a deep breath in and then let it out through your mouth. Take a deep breath in out through your mouth. One more time, in. And out. Thank you guys for tuning in with True Yoga today. Thank you for letting me guide you through your yoga practice. I'm so proud of everybody that's still doing their practice at home. Don't give up. Every day, do a little at a time. Every inhale, you let your belly rise. Every exhale, try 
Try to pull that belly to your spine. Inhale. And then exhale. Focus on that word or that color. You guys did it. You made it through a 60 minute class. So proud of everyone. Before we end completely, let's bring our hands into prayer over our forehead, above our third eye. Repeat after me. I intuit the truth. Bring your hands to your lips. I speak the truth. And bring your hands to heart center. I am the truth. The love inside of me honors and respects each and every one of you. Namaste. Stay here for as many breaths as you like. Or even if you want to take another nap in the morning, you can do that as well. Stay tuned. Um, go to our, our page. You can see different classes, the different times that we'll be having. We're here for you guys at least once a day. Thank you to, for continuing to practice with us. Can't wait to see each and every one of you back in the hot room. Have a good day, guys. Bye.